Let us look to the election algorithm in Raft. So when a server does not detect any more heartbeats from a leader, it becomes a candidate. By becoming a candidate, it will bump up its term and vote for itself. This is the second, first thing it does. Now let us look at the sequence when it becomes then a leader. It sends a request votes, RPCs, to all other servers that I want to become a leader. And if it gets a majority of votes, then it becomes a leader and send heartbeats, and this heartbeat saying, I am the leader now. This is process is a leader. Now, many processes may start the voting process more or less simultaneously. So if one of these processes gets an RPC from the leader in that specific term, so it reverts back to become a follower. So this is this box here. Now, because many candidates are contending to become a leader, there might be a split vote. Not a single candidate can get a majority. This will lead to a timeout. And this time out, we say that this term has failed to elect a leader and they pump up the current term number to a higher number. A leader election in a term may fail because multiple candidates are trying to become a leader simultaneously. So the solution to this is more like um, Ethernet, where basically you don't immediately try to become a leader, but you wait for a random period of time before starting your election process before sending request votes. And if these are random enough, eventually one of these servers will win the, the election. Okay, so what we have, we have these randomized starts. They don't start at the same time. Second, every server gives only one vote per term and you need a majority to win an election. And here comes the most important part, which corresponds to the prepare phase on a sequence Paxos algorithm. A server P reject a candidate Q if the highest log entry of Q, the highest log entry, has a lower term. It means it, ha it has a lower round number or it has the same term, but it has a lower index. So it is shorter. This means that you will accept only a candidate which is have equal or higher term than you, the server P, or even if it is equal, you accept him if he has the same length of the same sequence or longer sequence. So this is exactly the so-called max condition that we had when we were doing sequence paxos. Now we look to normal operations. We have a leader and clients send commands to a leader and the leader appends the commands to its log and then the leader sends the append entries to the followers. It's very similar to uh, the accept messages in sequence paxos. But this will require some log reconciliation between the leader and the follower and this we will discuss next. Assume that the followers have now accepted these entries. So we say that an entry is committed. First of all, if it is replicated on a majority of server by the leader in its term. So leader in term five now have a majority of servers including himself that have this entry. And once committed, the leader executes a command in its state machine and returns the results to the client. And then it notifies the follower in subsequent append entries. This is very similar. This last point is very similar when the leader sends a decide message in sequence paxos. So next, let us look to the log structure and log reconciliation, which is really an important aspect of this algorithm. The leader tries to reconcile its log, which he thinks is correct, with the follower's logs. 
let us first look to how the log look like and each entry in that log. So a log does not only for each entry has a command, but it also has the round number or the term number here. So here you can see these three entries, one, two, three. They are entries in the log at term number one. And these entries are in term number two and so on. You can see something here about this. What do you see? You see that this server has a very short log. It's only a log that was basically after the first term. So this server might have failed while being in the first term and then he recovered again. You can also see that this part is a committed entries. Why it is committed? Because for every entry here, you can see that the majority have this entry. So that, for example, here, you have a majority that have these entries. And here is the log of the leader. The log has even replicated all these entries to this follower. We call it server number three. Maybe this is server number one. And also replicated here his entries and replicated here his entries. Okay. But it is clear that up to this point, these entries are committed because there's a majority. So this sequence is chosen, you can say. But this part of the log now is not yet committed. So this gives you an idea about the structure of the log. Let us see now how a follower reconciles his log with the correct log of the leader. So here is a situation which is interesting. So we assume that server one here is a leader and he's in term four. So his log now, according to how the election works, is a correct log. But server number two has a log until entry number seven, and it, it is fine. Also, the same is fine for server number three. But let us look instead to this server. So this server has entries up to entry number two and does not have anything after. And this server, server number five, is actually a server that probably acquired leadership at this point and then he was somehow disconnected and he added so many entries here in fact if we look at the structure carefully we will see he dis he got disconnected at this point because these other entries are the same all over the log so when a leader comes into existence he has to reconcile his log and force the logs of other servers to be the same. This is very similar to what we had in sequence Paxos, which is called accept sync, where we are synchronizing the logs. But it's done in a different way. Here's a property that we want to maintain about log entries. We say, if log entries on different server have the same index and the same term, they should store the same command. This is an invariant, we want to enforce it. You have the same entry and the same term, they should store the same command. And the logs are identical in all preceding entries. So this means, if you look to these two logs, so until this point, this, the first log has the same index, index number six, and the same term, three, both have three here, then they must have the same command. And if this is true, then the algorithm guarantees that all previous entries here also agree on their term number and in the command they have for each index. If we can maintain this property, then we can conclude that 
if a given entry is committed, then all previous entries are also committed. And that's because if this entry agrees, all the previous entry also agree. And if that committed, that means there is a majority that have, that have acknowledged the value. And therefore, all previous entries are also committed. So this is fine. Let us look now how we do log reconciliation. The append entries RPC coming from the leader includes the index and term of entry preceding the new ones. It means the entry preceding the ones that I want to give to the followers. And a follower must contain matching entry, otherwise it rejects the request. So let us see this by example here. So here is the leader. He wants to transfer this entry at index number four to the follower, to this follower. He looks to the previous entry and send this information. The previous entry has index three and it has term two. If the follower agrees on this, if it sees yes, entry number three has term number two, it means these are equal and he can accept to append this entry into its log. That is fine. Here's the other hand, a situation where if we look at this follower, he has been adding things to his log in term number one. So he didn't even go through term number two and now our leader is in term number three. So the leader says now, I'll give you the entry number four but this does not match. He has three here and this has one here. And then the previous entry is an entry that happened in term number two, but I have number one here. Therefore, the follower rejects this entry. Now, here's a situation where then the leader says, okay, I have to go back to an entry of term number one because he has entries in term number one, so he goes back to entry number two, and entry number two agrees with the corresponding entry number two at the follower. Then he can now replace all of these with this part. So he sends all this information, the information in red here, and that will be fine. So basically, a leader tries to negotiate with the follower in such a way to find the highest entry that they agree upon. And then he sends all information after that. And this you can see here. So this is basically the algorithm for log reconciliation. So eventually the logs of all followers will have exactly the same entries in the same term as the log of the leader. This basically concludes the description of Raft. I just want to end this lecture with a summary that compares Raft with Sequence Paxos. So Raft, as well as Sequence Paxos, has the same basic Paxos idea. What is the same basic Paxos idea? The idea that the longest chosen sequence is a decided sequence. In um, Raft, it's called the committed sequence. And also leaders must have a higher round number or term numbers. So these both Paxos and Raft have the same principle here. Now, Raft differs from sequence Paxos on three aspects. We have a different leader election algorithm, one with randomized start in, in in Raft, while sequence paxos that we introduced had a rank-based algorithm so that there is no collision, there is always guaranteed to be a leader in each round. And in Raft, it incorporates the prepare idea as part of electing a leader. This actually avoids in the prepare phase sending sequences or data from the followers to the leader. The log, which is the accepted sequence in 
sequence paxos. In raft, it does it by reconciliation between the leader and the follower. Whereas the sequence paxos assume a FIFO channel after doing a log synchronization. And that ends the lecture.